EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. It's the second round of the Web.com Tour Championship, fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals. We saw a lot of great golf on day number one, but as we inch closer, Frank, with those 50 PGA Tour cards up for grabs, that pressure begins to ratchet up. It would have to, Rich, with that golden ticket come the end of this week, and that's a chance to play on the PGA Tour. But for the time being, let's look at the way they're playing right now. We are seeing some players play at the top of their game. Frank, seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass. How do you break this one down? Not overly long, 440 yards, but uh, once again, it's a tee shot. If you're driving the ball well, that's fine. You just sort of blister it down there, but you're starting to lose one a little bit to the right. There's three pot bunkers there, and of course, if you're fearful of it going left, there's the canal all the way down the left side that'll get your attention. Good tee shot right in the short grass. Now the approach to the seventh. Frank, what do you need to be mindful of here? It's rather narrow in the front of this green, and then there's some mounds both right and left. Be very aware of those mounds. They can actually help you out. Well, the way that came out, really lucky to be on the fringe. He'll still have a, a good chance to come out of here with a decent score. And with that birdie, moves to third place. TPC Sawgrass, the fabled stadium course designed by the legendary Pete Dye. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo. And here at the eighth, Frank, most players are happy walking out of here with a par three. And the reason why, it's a very narrow entry to this green. It's just littered with bunkers around, left, behind, to the side, and even short. Uh, once you get further up the green, though, even though this is sort of an undulating green, it starts to widen up. So don't get trapped into just looking at the front of this hole. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. This is a 19-foot putt. He can't believe it. Thought it was in. Getting set now over the putt. Well, too bad he gives one back. Frank, now at the ninth, this really is one of my favorite par fives in the entire sport. And uh, I certainly enjoy watching people play it today, Rich. Uh, it used to be unreachable, but the longer hit is now. Uh, we're starting to see them go for this par five regularly in two. And the reason why they start to hit the drive more down the right now than what they used to. People used to try and go down the left side. The right side, it hugs the water, but you get a better view of the second shot. That's in the fairway.
Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Frank, this is all about plotting your way around. Now the third shot at the ninth. Yeah, there's a reward for a precise short iron shot in here. If the pin's on the right or the left, precision pays off. Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, certainly not down the fairway line, heading toward the rough. Pretty good result right there, considering it looked rough all the way. Exactly. Rich, really good. safely on the dance floor. He has this for par. Well read. Let's get the back nine started here at the stadium course at TPC Sawgrass and break down the tenth for us, Frank. Well, it's similar to the opening hole. Uh, the first and tenth give you the same feeling where you feel awkward off the tee shot. Difference to the first hole, you've got to poke your tee shot towards the right side of the fairway here, turning it into a dog leg. And similar thing, now you're going back across the fairway to the green. Right, Frank, now the approach here at number 10. What's the right way to play it? Just avoid that bunker on the right and don't go too long and left. Over the back left is not an easy up and down. Now, this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Get the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive is setting himself up for a big weekend run. Two rounds in the books, Frank, and a good spot from which to make a move. Yeah, well positioned. Uh, really, you know, if you're leading, it's a different pressure. Being in the chaser pack there, playing well, what a great position to go into with two rounds to go.